Hey guys, and welcome back to part 12 of Doki Doki Literature Club, and I deleted Mon Monica's file. Um, as you can see, that's what's happening here, I suppose. And I don't think she's going to take too lightly and kindly to it, but we'll see what happens. What's happening? Raven, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts. Oh, I feel kind of bad. Help me, Raven. I mean, you kind of lead the others, so... Please hurry and help me. Help me! It's like this. Did you do this to me, Raven? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Raven. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just so you could hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. Ooh. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Raven, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Um, okay. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you want to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Raven, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, then... Mm -mm. Oh, she's gone. She's gone. She is gone. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, anyways, this is part 12 with Doki Doki Literature Club, and... Man, okay. Do I load a game, or... I have no load. Okay, see, so yeah, it's a new game. It's an ordinary school day, like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time that I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Raven. Sayori's back. Okay. Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we've picked up that habit once again. Raven, are you proud of me? Eh? For what? You know. For waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never said anything, said anything about it. Even though we walked to school every day. Well, yeah. 
I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of your sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Raven, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? It's the same thing. I told you already, I'm not, I'm really not, I start to say that what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs, but something tells me Sayuri would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Oh, okay, yeah, so she's the club president now, but, wow, okay. Actually, yeah, I think I've decided on the club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. <laughs> Talking face. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that, in, in a way, I envy her. When Sayuri puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. So school day is as, is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Oh, you finally found some for once. Let's see. Sorry, water. I recall a room member of the club I, from a flyer I saw. I walked across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for it yet. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Raven? What are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh? I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the Raven that Sire is always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Raven. We're the Literature Club. I hope that you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. You need to, not need to be so formal. He's going to think we're really strict or something. Ah. Sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet you both, both of you. I look forward to working with you. But working? Raven, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. Ah! Sorry, I, I can't really do a girl's all cheer, girly cheer thing. <laughs> Sorry, wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. <laughs> well, if Sayori is happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what an appropriate day for it, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? Hmm. Yep. We read all this, but, you know, this is a recap. So I've heard that this is, you know, the third round of the game. Um, so, yeah. But anyways, you know, didn't hear. I had to go and delete Monica's file. Because, you know, she kind of kidnapped me last part but you know Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats let me make sure I'm recording yes I am the whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears so cute oh wait yeah looking for something different basically eating cupcakes now Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Yeah, I remember this too. I'm a pro after all. Tsundere. <laughs> hmm. I probably should save here though. 
And double save, like always, to be sure. Manga. That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say it. Is this new? For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? So if Raven wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop her or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take his op this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Raven? M maybe. Sensing the tension, Sightroy jumps in. Maybe we could all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll get all get we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean that's the kind of thing the literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah? You're right as usual. Prez. Did it say Prez? Oops. President. Yep. <laughs> Guess I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for you, Yuri, eh? I have to read manga? It's not that bad. Jeez. <laughs> you were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Oh, hurtful. I, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks for herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If... If you're not, if you're into them, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No, I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider straight starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy that you did that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something you really like. You'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit a bookstore after the club meeting. D just for you? Oh, just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so. Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sayori, shut up. <laughs> I'm going to show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Raven. You think so? Well, everyone seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Sorry, hand cramp. Was at work today. Aw, oh, Raven. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Raven. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. The truth is, I already knew you what? Knew you were going to. There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting... Oh, whoa. Let's go ahead and save here, because this is kind of odd. I feel like I... Something's going to come up. I can sense it. I, I feel it. Sorry. Itchy nose. Allergies suck. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Raven. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that really matters anymore. It's just us now. And you make me the happiest girl. Oh, oh. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. For oh oh. O R E V E No Eh What's that? Oh, I won't let you hurt him. Who? It it hurts. Ah 
I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Raven. Goodbye, Literature Club. I'm sure you guys can hear it, but... I'm playing audio DD also. Oh, lyrics. Okay, that's pretty cool. Acoustic finger picking. I play guitar if anyone wants to know. Oh, the ending credits? Hope you guys can hear the lyrics and everything. Image not found? I was told that credits are very important, so I watched. Sorry if it's too loud. Hard to adjust the volume. That one's nice. I haven't seen that one. Or the other one. Money Cut and Raven. It's in the credits. Wow. And the character's name. Everything's getting deleted. The scripts. The Made with Love by Team Savato. Oh, bravo to them. They did well. Whoever made this game. I have to look it up. I'm sorry if I don't know the names. But, great job. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same... In writing. Sorry, someone came out of my room. Uh, for the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Script file is missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. Uh, hold on, let me pull up the game again. D did we just finish the game? I guess that's it. I I, I guess that's the game. Um, wow. So, I guess... Um, 
We got some things to talk about. Um, it was a lot shorter than I thought it would be. <laughs> but I guess that's the end of the game. I didn't know I was that close to it. I heard it was a short game. Excuse me. I was actually just told that recently that was a short game. Um, but I didn't, I didn't think it would end like that. But that was actually sad and happier than I thought. It was bittersweet. I mean, I'm not sure what to think about that ending. It wasn't a bad game at all. It was a good game. I can't say it was bad. Um, I guess it was a message here. I need to look more into it. I was told to you know, check out, you know, Game Theory, MatPat's videos, so which I, video or videos, I heard he has two of them on this, I'm not sure. But I wouldn't mind a sequel to this or whatever. I heard their mods and everything, I'll look it up. But I was trying to stay away from the spoilers, you know. YouTubers use thumbnails that spoil things also. So it's hard to avoid everything, but those are my thoughts. This game was good. Um, I thought Monica was a villain. I don't think she was really. I don't know. I need to look this up more. I just don't fully understand a lot of it, but... Some of it I do a little bit, but just gotta look it up, I guess. But that was good. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll end the part here, I guess, since there's not much else I can do. Um, yeah, if you like what you saw, please leave a comment down below, like, and subscribe. Um, if there happens to be something else I can do in this game, maybe I'll try to do it and record it. Sorry, I couldn't get every file open or whatever, but I tried to get as much as I could on camera. You know, without you asking for assistance or looking things up. You know, I've tried to do most of this blind as possible, so. But anyways, um, as usual, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, and sayonara. Bye.